Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and happy St. Patrick's Day! Fun fact, I am part Irish, so this is technically like my holiday, and you just got lucky because you got a video on a Wednesday, okay? So to stick with the St. Patrick's Day theme and switch it up, let's go green. I'm trying a new temporary hair color by As I Am. This is their curl color and the color emerald green. No sulfates, no parabens, no silicone. It's actually a six ounce bottle for only like $8. So I wanna see how it works. Now I know what you're thinking, how does it compare to the Curl Smith hair makeup? That's what I'm really gonna be testing out today. So we'll go over all the pros and cons as I apply this to my hair. But let's get started because I'm really excited. So right on the bottle it says to one, wash your hair with the As I Am Jamaica Black Castor Oil Shampoo and Co-Wash. Didn't use those today, but they are good. Two, spray As I Am Jamaica Black Castor Oil water. Y'all got your own water? As I look it up, the Jamaica Black Castor Oil water is like an oil blend that they suggest you spray first. I don't have that either. Next step is to apply the As I Am Classic or Jamaica Black Castor Oil leave-in. I got that one. So let's go ahead and add this leave-in conditioner first. It has coconut, alma, sugar, beet, root, green tea, lemon, apple, sugar cane, bunch of good stuff. Ooh, I love the smell. What's that smell like? It smells like a sherbet. Sherbet vibes. And the color is technically like a gel. It's gonna act like a medium hold gel. So I think that's why they suggest using a leave-in first so your hair is not too hard if you need some more moisture. I'm okay with using gels on their own, but let's just follow the instructions as much as we can. Next it says to towel dry and leave hair damp, not dripping before applying. So let's just do a little bit of scrunching. Get out any excess water. because I don't want this to take all day to dry, nor do I think I want my diffuser to turn green. I will be checking to see how transfer resistant this is how long it lasts, how vibrant it is, all that good stuff. I don't really see any claims on here that says it's not going to transfer. So that makes me a little nervous. But let me go ahead and apply my gloves. So the first thing that I do notice is that compared to the Curl Smith hair makeup, you don't have to apply gloves. I mean, it doesn't even tell you to. So I'm wondering if this is a little more potent in the stain department if they're asking us to put on gloves. I don't know, we gonna see. Brand new, oh, oh, it smells good. Look at that vibrant color. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, the first dip is always the funnest. Oh yeah. Let's smooth and rake that in. <gasps> I'm like the Joker. Now it says this is good for wash and goes, twist outs, rod sets. I've seen some really dope rod sets done with this stuff. Let's keep going. Looks like I got slimed like on Nickelodeon. I've always wanted to be slimed. Anyone else? Any other 90s babies? <laughs> vibrant right now while it's wet we'll see how it dries the curl definition is looking really good like a good gel would look um, it is turning my neck a little green so I'm gonna have to wash that off hopefully that's an easy fix but yeah look at the individuality of my curls they look really defined already so a little bit of scrunching gonna let this air dry and we'll come back seaweed green has never looked so pretty so as I was waiting for it to air dry, I watched a couple of videos and everybody said it takes a long time to dry. And anybody got time for that? So I busted out the diffuser and started drying myself. All right, we 
are pretty dry now. The curls look amazing. The definition is so nice. It's actually really moisturized. It's not drying at all. Almost too moisturizing to where these just really don't want to dry. <laughs> it's still not 100% dry. Color-wise, it's a very light muted green. I really want it to be like in your face green, but it kind of just gives you like a green tint. It probably looks even better like in the sunlight, but I do see my like blondish highlights kind of popping through, making it more of like a yellowish green. So I kind of want to add more and see if it can get more vibrant. Thanks to quarantine, we have a bunch of gloves lying around. I apply it to dry hair. Like that's the green I want. It's gonna scrunch it on there. So if this is the case, I might suggest just styling your hair with whatever styling products you want and then just go on top of it once it's kind of dry with your color of choice. Yeah, see that's the green I want. Here are my final results. This green is the green I was looking for. Overall, it still feels super moisturized. It's not dry at all. So much so that I don't even know if it's all the way dry. Um, my hand is clean, so I was able to wash it. Let's see what happens if I scrunch. No transfer, nice. My curls are super defined, so if there is a gel equivalent to this in the As I Am collection, I need to know which one it is because the definition is insane, but so much so that I have like zero frizz. So I'm not really getting as much volume because each curl is like individually defined. So overall, final thoughts. I love it. I know green is probably not gonna be everyone's first choice. Having green hair is actually every blonde girl's worst nightmare in the summer. But it is really fun for St. Patrick's Day if you wanna be like Billie Eilish. I mean, she just won a Grammy, so I guess y'all are into the green hair anyways. I really want to try the purple next. Let me know if you guys want me to do purple and I'll make another video. And in that part two video, I think I'm gonna tell you how this does on day two, how this works overnight, if it stains my pillows, how long does it last, was it easy to wash out? All that stuff will be in part two when I go purple. But I know you guys wanna know how does it compare to the Curl Smith hair makeup. So let's get into it. One. There's six colors in the As I Am, only five colors in the Curl Smith one thus far. Curl Smith has turquoise, ruby, rose gold, gold, and copper, where As I Am has green, blue, red, purple, gold, and silver. The As I Am bottles are six ounces, where the Curl Smith ones are only three ounces. Curl Smith is $19.99, available on the Curl Smith website and at Ulta, where As I Am is available at Target and Sally Beauty and is only $7.99. So there's a huge price difference and you get double the amount in this one. They're both cruelty free, they're both vegan. Ingredient wise, it's pretty hard to beat Curl Smith. Curl Smith has super organic ingredients like blueberry, periwinkle, juniper, like fruits, vegetables, and plants are all up in here. Where this one still is vegan, cruelty free, no silicone or anything like that, but it does have more like scientific -y ingredients. Another big takeaway is with the Curlsmith ones, it doesn't transfer per se, but when you scrunch it, it does have like little shimmer flakes that will kind of fall over the place. But you could just dust it off, it's not a problem, it doesn't stain anything. Where this one, when I scrunch it, there's no flakes or like cast or shimmer at all. It really does just stay on your hair. I don't know which one is easier to rinse out in the shower. I don't know how this does overnight yet. I still have some experimenting to do. But those are the main differences. Which one would I use? It really depends on the color that I'm going for. I really genuinely like both of them. I do love that the Curlsmith one dries a lot faster and I'm able to get really good volume with the Curlsmith one. Where this one I'm getting really good definition but not as much volume. So I am curious to see how this is going to look on day two. I mean, this is still really bomb for day one. Um, Dang, it looks really good. <laughs> 
but it still feels like it's not dry. So I don't know what ingredient that is. I don't know if it's sitting on top of my hair and not really like absorbing, but actually now that I am touching it some more, I am getting a little bit green of a tint. Is it on my neck? I don't see it on my body anymore. I was able to rinse it off my neck. Transfer wise, I'm not really mad at it because this isn't permanent color. It's just for fun. So don't take it too seriously and don't try to compare it to an actual hair dye. So in conclusion, I love it. I want to keep trying it. I love the price. I love how much you get and I love that it's easily accessible at places like Target or Sally Beauty. You also can get it on the As I Am website. So let me know what you guys think of my green hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this random Wednesday video. Oh, and big news before you go, I have recently entered to be part of the Sephora Squad 2021. If you don't know what that is, it's a year long partnership with Sephora. So this could be my chance to work with a bunch of new hair brands, makeup brands, skin brands, anything that's sold at Sephora, I'll be able to get my hands on and be able to give you guys even more content. But in order for me to get accepted, I need help from you. All you gotta do is click the link in my description box and leave me a little testimonial, letting them know why you would love for me to be in the Sephora squad. So if you enjoy my videos and my content, it would mean so, so, so much to me if you told Sephora why you think I would be a great addition to the Sephora squad. And for those of you that follow me on Instagram that already wrote a testimonial for me, thank you so much. You guys left the kindest, sweetest words that meant so, so much to me. Honestly, your words mean more to me than any brand or partnership that I could get. So thank you so much for trusting me with my reviews and hoping that I can work with a major brand like Sephora. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you are missing out. Follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.